Hello, I'm Dr. Jia Jia, lecturer at the Institute for Digital Communications in the University of Edinburgh. My research expertise is in electrical impedance tomography for industrial process applications and biomedical imaging. At the moment, I'm collaborating with Dr. Chao Tan from Tianjin University of China on a joint project. The project is sponsored by the Royal Society of Edinburgh and the National Nature Science Foundation of China. The project title is Multi-Frequency Electrical Tomography Sensors and Imaging for Multi-Phase Flow Measurement. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Chao Tan from Tianjin University to you. Thank you, Dr. Jia Jia, for introducing me. My topic today is Process Tomography for Multi-Phase Flow Measurement. My name is Xiao Tan from Tianjin University. It's my pleasure to be here to present this work. The collaboration is based on the electrical resistance tomography. It's the core technology about this collaboration mm -hmm. project. You can see from the, the slides that we can reconstruct the dynamic distribution of the different object in the sensing field. And this system has been developed for years. The acquisition speed has been increased from 23 per second to 1,004 hundred frames per second at the moment. It is multi multi-modality tomography system and is based on modular design. And it is, it is a universal platform, so basically you can insert any modality of tomography into this system. So this high standard and industrial standardized tomography can provide very high speed of data acquisition to analyze and to measure the parameter of multi-phase flow. Here is the method we developed for this multi-phase flow based tomography. The old the traditional method is based on pixels, which takes quite a lot of time to reconstruct the domain distribution, which is not suitable for multi-phase flow measurement. What we do is to change the domain reconstruction into the boundary reconstruction, which can eliminate a many number of unknowns that can be used, can be reconstructed by using a limited number of known parameters. So this method can be applied in multi-phase flow measurement and reconstruction. Here is an example of using this kind of method to reconstruct different objects. There are more than one object inside of the, the sensing field. You can see we can separate up to four objects just by reconstructing the boundary of the objects. This system has been extensively tested on a facility. This one is multi-phase loop, uh, multi loop, loop in Tianjin University. It is for oil, gas, and water three-phase flow measurement. So here is the process that we have been doing, the experiments. You can see the multi-phase flow is very complex and very dynamic. So you need to use a very high-speed tomography system to capture the, 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 the dynamic change of the multi-phase flow. And here is what we have is a very typical result of how to analyze the flow pattern transition from different uh, velocity of the two phases. That's only the ERT can do it. And here is what we are going to do is to combine different sensors with the ERT system to measure the velocities and the phase, cross phase fractions of the multi-phase flow. And it uses not only just the tomography system, it also uses the conductivity range and also the differential pressure sensors. Beyond this uh, studies, we also developed a wellness sensor that provides multiple points of measurement of conductivity in the cross-section of the pipe. It is far more accurate than ERT, but it's intrusive. It's very helpful for us to understand what is going on inside of the pipe, and it can be used as a reference of the ERT system. And based on this technology, we can reconstruct the three-phase, the, the, the three-dimensional phase construction, phase we can reconstruct the three-dimensional phase distribution inside of the pipe, which can be compared with the ERT system, then later can be with as a reference. And this method, this system can be used to analyze the detail of the multi-phase flow, like the transition of the local uh, phase function, like, like uh, uh, the local phase function and their correlations and this method can provide a very profound understanding on how the phase patterns transition from the different point of views. That is the local correlations between different nodes. And here 
are all the things that we're going to discuss in this project and what we have been doing in the process topography for multiphase photo measurement in Tianjin University. And again, thank you all for attending this presentation and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.